Hi, welcome back. I'm going to play the well-known Australian tune Waltzing Matilda on my little Eve double strung lap harp. And I think you'll be amazed at how it sounds fast, it sounds difficult, and it's actually not. And I'll show you some of the secrets to that. So if I were going to perform that somewhere, I'd work on it longer and get it all perfect and nuanced. But I specifically wanted to take this video today because to show you that after, even though I'm an intermediate player, that after three days of maybe 45 minutes a day of messing around with that tune, it was that easy to play at least a rough version of it, which I did. And one of the reasons is that, for instance, if I did this on a single strung harp, it would go. But on a double strung, I'll do this one five eight here and a third here. I only have to go. That's not so hard because after I do this, my left hand is going to play one third. And so that's where you get the tricky sound. So watch my left hand, how relaxed it is, and watch how relaxed my right hand is. Again, I'm going to do it in slow motion so that you can see it. I'm not going to teach the whole piece here, but I want you to experience a little bit of the magic. So place your right hand on a B third and do it three times and then a G third. Now play the G 158 while you do the first one here. Okay, now have your both hands up here on the B third, but you're only going to play the left one once. So you're going to go. Again. Again, that's. Now, do the G158 the first time you do this third. So it's. Now do it on this E third. One, two, three. So now put your left hand here, and it's only going to come in once. Now 
Now do the C, one five eight with it. And then this part is, and you'll see that on the notation. So the left hand of that is just, and the right hand is just, but together it sounds so cool. The notation for that tune, the way I play it, is in my Mischief on a Double Strung Harp book, which July 19th, 2019 will be available on my website. It has other fast sounding tunes that are well known, like What Shall We Do with the Drunken Sailor and um, Irish Washerwoman, that are <laughs> unbelievably easier than they sound. And also, I'll do a future video where I go into a little bit more depth about how to learn this that you just saw. Thank mm -hmm. you.